This is interesting. This is one of these, like, I don't know, they call them water catchers. So somehow this is grabbing the tiny amounts of water vapor in the air and turning it into drinking water. How is this working? I mean, I see this net structure, which yeah. does feel like like survival shows, how they do this. They mm -hmm. like put a plastic tarp up and then it catches that morning dew. And then the morning dew like runs down and you collect it, mm -hmm. I guess, maybe. So, so I guess the net gives you lots of surface area. True. All this intricate part, all the intricate surfaces in the, in the net. Mm -hmm. But that would mean you have to, you probably have to cool the net, keep the net really cool so the water would condense onto the net. So yeah, I guess if the I net guess, is essential, how, maybe... how does it work here on earth? Like you can only collect the, the dew from condensation, like in the, in the morning. In the morning. So I guess the plastic or in this case, netting has cooled overnight. So yeah, so you, the whole apparatus is cooled overnight because the sun is down. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. somehow you keep it cool in the shade as the air warms up around it. And for that window of a couple exactly. hours, the condensation happens. I think that's right. The net probably can't, it must be a special net that can like hold cold for long periods of time. Because it's long enough. High surface area gives you lots of surface area for condensation, but it also gives you lots of surface area for warming if there's a slight wind. That's right, right? Because it'll catch more of the wind because it's a large object. Yeah. yeah. Plus, the, if it's a net, like it's a fibrous net, like we would here have here on Earth, instead instead of it being like fishing line net, it's like an actual rope. Now that's a wicking. So if you don't get all the moisture out, it'll actually oh, draw the moisture oh, yeah. up into the into the net and then be pulled away and pulled so, away by the windy wind. Yeah, so it must not be a wicking net. It must somehow be able to, as soon as the condensation occurs on the outside of the net, it's, it's dribbling down. Dripping down, which I guess gravity would help. Gravity would help it drip yeah. down. Maybe it's like a tubular net where it's hollow on the inside. There's some capillary action going on. Ooh. But that capillary action is good and bad because, because if you get a water drop here, it'll help suck it down. But if you get a collection of water down at the bottom, capillary action, like, like cap first of all, capillary action, you know, when you have a narrow tube, water can get pulled up it against the gravitational force. So if you look at like your straw in your drink, the water level in the straw is a little bit higher than in the rest of the cup. So if there's a water collector down at the bottom here, capillary action will pull water up and then you won't collect it. You'll evaporate it out. So maybe down at the bottom there, there's some kind of one-way valve situation. Oh, that'll do it. Also, is that another person there? Holy crap. I've never, there are two people here. Oh, yeah, two people. <laughs> oh, no, they're all being collected. I see. They're all being collected. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were like in the desert by themselves. Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and these must be permanent stations. You're not. You're not putting this on your backpack. Oh no, no. Although that's a terrible idea to have these permanently installed, because then one of the ornithopters could fly by and like, oh look, there's Fremen structures. <laughs> that's where Actually, the Fremen yeah. are. Yeah, you would target infrastructure like this. It'd be hard to replace. It's important. Yeah, they needed for to survival. Yeah. Survival, exactly. And I could easily take it out with one of those mounted guns that we're going to see later. Pew, pew, I wouldn't pew, have pew, to. Pew, pew. Dun, dun. I don't, we wouldn't have to get down on the ground, but I feel like the Harkonnen would. They would. They, they would. would. 